Yo, what's up aliens? Aki here. Super stoked to show y'all my Magic Racks Volume 4. So these ones are really awesome because they come with presets. Look at all these presets. And when you click on them, it changes all the macro positions there. I've really spent a lot of time dialing all of these in to give y'all a lot of different variety just from a few clicks of a button. So there's about 20 racks in here. Um, but with the presets and everything, it turns it into like hundreds of different racks. I've And I've broken them up into four different packs as well as like a bundle of all four of those packs. So the individual packs are uh, drum juice, uh, vocal creatures, bass monsters, and glitchy vibes. Um, and within those there's like a couple different racks and I'm gonna start showing y'all and you can click around in this video to jump to different positions so first up I'm gonna show y'all the uh, magic drum juice here I've got this uh, drum loop let's see if I turn this on and off it's pretty clear um, I'm just gonna go through some of these and click through the presets let's go These ones, these ones are too much. So you can see in there, there's some like extreme versions in there. And then there's like some really subtle detailed ones in there. But, oh my goodness, I, I've already gotten so much out of these just putting it on my own music. Uh, you can also use these not just on like a break, but you can actually use them on like your kick drum or your snare or the drum group. Uh, all of those are really awesome. You can also use the drum juice on, um, you know, I've used it on basses as well. You could probably try it on vocals as well too. That might be really interesting. Let's try it. Let's try it on the vocals. Back, quick. back and forth like psychosis. If you can't see it clearly, bitch, I make you focus. Y'all said you want it. Well, I hit it on the gnosis. Hit it on the gnosis. That shit is broken. Magic in this bitch, hocus pocus. This is shit that make you stomp your feet and move your shoulders. Y'all a bunch of eggs and I crack you like yokes. Oh yeah. Back, back and forth. Definitely cool on vocals as well. Next up, we've got this Magic EQ Dancer. So with this one, check this out. Um, I'm gonna throw it on here and jump on through some of these. So it's a really good way of just like adding a bunch of movement uh, to whatever sound that you're working on. They sound good on drums, but they also sound good on really anything. So here I've got a Reese bass. Go play around with this on here. Yeah, so super fun to just like figure out different ways to apply those to a sound, just to give your sound a little bit more of a unique movement. Also on here is the uh, Magic Tape Stop. So what you want to do to use this, is you actually want to go through, hit the Tape Stop uh, automation and automate that. So here we've got some automation. It'll do like a little Tape Stop effect. Boom. And then here with the magic amount, you can really uh, up the, the gain there, um, make it louder. This is adding more compression. But yeah, super fun to try those out. Also here on the, uh, I've got just a bunch of static hi-hats. And say you've got a, just a, your hi-hat line, you can just throw a straight line like that, which is not very interesting. But here with the hi-hat dancer, it really changes up the vibe with these hi-hats. So. I 
I really like that groovy one. But yeah, super simple way to like add groove to like a really static hi-hat uh, pattern that you've got uh, just to switch it up. I've applied that to other things too and it like will uh, like mess around with the top end. If you throw it on with like the high-low splitter from uh, the Magic Rex Volume 1, it's pretty cool. Uh, all right, so now let's move on to the vocal creatures. So here uh, I've got this uh, sample from Recno. Back, back and forth like psychosis. If Super dry and simple. And now watch this. We're going to turn this on. We're going to go through the presets. It's going to blow your mind. I would love this one so much. So let's go. Back, back and forth like psychosis. If you can't see it clearly, bitch, I make you focus. Y'all said you want it. Well, I hit it on the gnosis. Hit it on the gnosis. That shit is broken. Magic in this bitch. Hocus pocus. This is shit that makes you stop and beat and shout. Got a bunch of eggs and I crack you like yolks. Back, back and forth like psychosis. If you can't see it clearly, bitch, I make you focus. Y'all said you want it. Well, I hit it on the gnosis. Hit it on the gnosis. That shit is broken. Magic in this bitch. Hit this pit. This, this is shit. That makes you stay with it. Crack you like yolks. Back, back and forth like psychosis. If you can't see it clearly, bitch, I make you focus. Back back and forth like psychosis. If you can't see it clearly, bitch, I make you focus. Y'all said you want it. Well, I hit it on the gnosis. Hit it on the gnosis. So as you can see, just completely nuts. Uh, you can get so many different types of vocal effects on there. And like if you look up here, the CPU is not really hitting that hard. Uh, it's, yeah, I love that one so much. Uh, here, the vocal selector is sort of like a broken down, even simpler version that's even less CPU. Um, back, back and forth. You know, back, a lot of similar, like but slightly different ones. These are all much drier in the vocal selector because with the, the magic creatures, there's like a mixture of the effects along with EQing and reverbs and whatnot. And this one's just the pure effects. Back, back and forth like psychosis. Can't see it clearly, bitch. I make you focus. Y'all said you want it. Well, I hit it on the nose. That's magic is broken. Magic in this bitch, hocus pocus. This is shit that makes you stay the fuck. Y'all a bunch of eggs and that cracking my So you can see some of them are similar, but then like they're slightly different as well. Um, here also we got the reverb selector and these are just sort of like different types of reverbs that I've found myself using a lot in different songs. Back, back and forth like psychosis. If you can't see it clearly, bitch, I make you focus. Y'all said you want it. Well, I hit it on the gnosis. Hit it on the gnosis. That shit is broken. Magic in this bitch, hocus pocus. This is shit that make you stomp your feet and move your shoulders. Y'all a bunch of eggs and I crack you like yolks. Yeah, and so you could use those on not just on vocals, but you could use those on, you know, like snares or basses, just about anything. Uh, now, the last one inside the Vocal Creatures pack is the uh, EQ Vibes. And this one you could use on vocals, but I also, I really like to use it on just like any kind of synth thing to really show the difference between them. <laughs>
So that's really nice if you just like are looking for a particular vibe, you can just like throw it on like a group of synths or something like that. I found it just to like, you know, if I'm looking, if I'm like not sure what I want, I can throw that on there and like cycle through them and like find different vibes and just be like, okay, yeah, that, that fits really nicely in that pocket. All right, cool. Onward, we got the bass monsters. Uh, now I just want to say each one of these is uh, $20 and then all four of them together are um, 69 69 for memes. So with this bass monsters one, I'm going to be just playing either like a, a saw or a sine wave just here in Serum and then we're going to apply the bass monsters uh, to it and then cycle through the presets and here we go, this is gnarly. Again, I'm just playing a saw wave. Now, some of these are also really good just on sine waves. Oh yeah, this one. And then you can go in here and like really manually adjust them. And the variables really do vary upon which uh, preset you're using inside of here because they're all doing a lot of different things. Tight. All right, cool. So next in this pack is the Magic Trash. And this one, it's just crazy different types of distortion. So I'm going to put it back on a saw wave and let's cycle through them. Super gnarly. Now you could throw that trash on basically anything that you wanted distorted. I wonder what it sounds like here on the vocals one. Let's just try this out. I haven't tried this yet, but let's let's give it a shot. Yeah, I get some interesting variations in there. If you were to like put like a shout or something in that, I think that'd be pretty dope. All right, so we're going to move on to the final uh, bundle in here, which is the Magic Glitchy Vibes. So this one has the most amount of ones in it, uh, but... I'd say like the bass ones, like a lot of people in bass music is, are really going to like those. Vocals, basically anyone that ever does anything with vocals is, are going to love that one. The drum juice, anyone that does anything with drums is going to want to do that. That's plus with those effects. And you can like combine these and whatnot. It's going to be really cool. Oh wait, let's get into the magic glitchy vibes. The main one in this pack is this uh, magic vibes. So I've got uh, this chord progression again. And we're going to uh, go through and just check out these presets. Thank you. 
so you can see in there it's got like this like trance gate like effect it's got all sorts of these other effects on there it's doing weird things with the the filtering uh, and delays all added in there so that's the magic vibes now i've also broken that one down into its core components which is like the trance gates so if you wanted to just use the trance gates you can do that as well that one's really cool you can get different filter styles and then different delays that I found myself using. And then just some classic effects. If you're like looking for inspiration on how to switch up the vibe of a sound. All right, now let's let's explore into uh, how these affect on uh, some of these other ones, like the stereo wiggler. Um, this one can get pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and listen to it. So you can see those ones really mess with the stereo uh, effect of it. But you want to be careful on these because sometimes it can ruin a sound just by like messing up its its mono compatibility. But in certain instances, it just works out really well and gives a lot of life to character. Uh, so be warned with that one. All right, next let's try this frequency worm. Now this one's just crazy glitch sounds. Let's let's go for it here. We go. That one's super subtle, just barely changing that top end up there. Um, but yeah, another one, you got to be careful with how it affects the phase of everything, uh, but can be extremely cool. Now let's go to the bubble machine. This one and the resonant glitches, this is just like nutty. All right, let's, uh, let's put on a, a vocal again. Back, back and forth. Let's go for it. Actually, let's, let's put it back on the, uh, the chords. Ooh. On the vocals, pretty cool. Let's try on the, the drums. Wild. All right, let's try out this other one, the resonant glitches. Uh, this one I know is pretty trippy on the vocals. It's like, uh, I've heard that effect like on TikTok or on the internet before, for sure. Back, back and forth like psychosis. If you can't see it clearly, bitch. Oh. Oh. 
make you focus. Y'all said you want it, well, I hit it on the noses. Back, back. <laughs> Basically anything you throw into it's just gonna be weird. Cool. Alright, now let's uh, mess around with the Ahi's underwater drip. So this one's really about just like adding in a vibe uh, to like something like chords or something like that. It also does add some noise to things. So if you're like wondering what's adding this noise, it's this one. So maybe automate it on and off to the parts where you want it, unless you like the noise in the background. <laughs> But it's like trying to like get that like underwater, like old, like um, analog kind of vibe in whatever you're trying to go for. I wonder what it sounds like on drums. There's the drum. Oh, this is sort of cool. You could like maybe automate it on and off. That would be a cool automation thing. All right, cool. Well, yeah, I believe uh, that is all of the magic racks right there. Oh, right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed these. Uh, again, once again, I've broken them down into four more affordable packs as well as the bundle of all four of those together. So the four uh, breakdowns are the drum juice, uh, the vocal creatures, the bass monsters and then the magic glitchy vibes and then all of them together are the magic racks volume four um, i'm going to be providing a link below of where y'all can get those and uh, on my gum road and i just appreciate all of y'all's support over the years and i really hope you uh make some awesome music doing this and if you uh if you make something Tag me on uh, Instagram or uh, wherever where you're showing your project. Would love to see what y'all are doing with these. Uh, you can tag me at, at I am Ahi or on Twitter, um, official Ahi. So uh, yeah, looking forward to see what y'all do with these. Uh, maybe let a friend know would really help me out. And um, also, if you haven't already, check out my YouTube channel for more Ableton tutorials. All right, aliens, I will catch y'all in the future. All right. Peace.